So what I want to do in this video is show how to get set up to start experimenting with ECMAScript 6. ECMAScript 6 is what will be theoretically the next version of JavaScript. Currently we're working on ECMAScript 5. Uh, one of the best resources that um, there is actually right now for ECMAScript 6 is this compatibility table here. And what this shows is this shows uh, both browsers and transpilers. So EJS and Tracer, these are what are called transpilers. What these will do is these will take an ES6 JavaScript file and what they will do is they will return to you a JavaScript file in ES5. So what you can do is you can write ES6 code, run it through this transpiler, and then you'll get back code that will run in a browser that is not ES6 compatible. And we're going to do that here in just a second. So for so when I'm working with ES6, mainly what I use is a nightly build of Firefox 34. The nightly build over here that I'm using is actually, I believe, 35. Yeah, it's 35. Uh, this pretty much updates, you know, every couple of days, every day or something. It is called nightly after all. And then Tracer. Might be wondering why am I not using EJS? Well, if we do this, and it should put e Tracer and EJS right next to each other you're going to notice that there's actually a lot of stuff that is implemented in Tracer but not in EJS except for down here these math functions. So a large part of this difference is math is the math functions. And then when you get over here to Firefox 34 um, it, it, it's, a, it's, a much, it's a much more complete implementation but sometimes it's easier to work with uh, the command line in Node, which is how I'd be working with Tracer than working with Firefox and Firebug. So to do that, let's go ahead and let's get Tracer set up. So what I've got here is I'm going to be working within Cloud9. You've seen in my other videos, you know, this is one of my favorites. And we're going to be, and the first thing we need to do is install the Tracer compiler. It's just a Node module. npm install Tracer. And this won't take very long. All right, now if I run Tracer, you'll see I have a program in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this in a couple parts here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a new folder called build. And I'm going to do a new file. And I'll call this just demo.js. So what I'm going to do is since this is Node, and I'm going to actually launch this from another file, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off by doing my exports and I'm just going to put a function demo1 and we're just going to return the string apple dot starts with capital A. Now it's pretty obvious what this is going to do. What not what might not be obvious is that I'm in Chrome here and this is version Chrome uh, let's see here 37 what might not be so obvious though is that this function does not exist this starts with function on a string now it would be very easy um, to implement it, by the way, we could just say prototype dot starts with equals a function. It takes a character C and checks to see if the first character of the string is equal to C. And what we need to do is need to return that. And then we could run this and it would work but right now it's not part of the standard now if I go over to Firefox nightly and let's say we pull up firebug there it is and we go into the console here and we do something like the same thing run it 
again, that, that function exists, but it does not exist um, in ES5. So what we can do now is we can, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run tracer. So I'm going to say tracer, and the place that I want to put the generated file is going to be in the build directory. If I can type that. And I'm going to call it demo.js. And the file I'm going to bring in is demo.js in the current directory. And what I want to do is I want to create the source maps. And I think that's all I want to do. Yeah, that should work. Now you're going to see it's, it's created this source map file here for me. And it's also created this demo.js file. Which I would all, which I would want to import into a main file here. And we'll just say our demo equals require build demo. And then we would do something like console log demo.demo1. Okay. The problem is this isn't, I mean, it, it'll run, but it'll crash. And the reason is because of this right here. So this system, this is something that is provided by the tracer runtime. And the tracer runtime is something is also something we can install as a node module. So I could do npm install and just say tracer runtime. And that'll be, take, be taken care of really quickly. So now what I can do is I can go back over to my main file. And actually, I'm going to have to redo my... Hang on just a second. I didn't compile... There it is. There we go. I didn't compile my um, ES6 file soon enough. And now what I can do is I need to have the tracer runtime imported in this file because that's running because that's running on that's an ES5 uh, ES5 code. So I'm going to say global dot dollar sign tracer runtime equals require tracer runtime. And now if I run this main file in node I haven't made any typos, we get back, we get back true. And if I ask, does it start with B? And run this again, and then run the main file again, it comes back false. So we can see that this is truly working. So we could use ES6, or we could at least write ES6 code, and use the equivalent in browsers today. Now, of course, what you would do is you would set this up into your build system, and we'll look at how to do that later on. But this is just uh, to show you that it is possible to use ES6 today and how to get started.